Today we get to see another wonderful van build in process being built out by a woman who's never built anything before. Be sure and check out the composting toilet and the leveling airbags. Now that's something I've never seen in a van before. John approves that you don't have to have a lot of experience to build out your van. You just need to be able to research and give it a go. Donna Abrams, two traveling chicas, uh, a grand adventure. I usually have my girlfriend with me and my corgi, but they weren't able to come with us this, this trip. Um, but we built the van, bought the van two years ago, and we've been building it out ever since. Um, obviously, winters in Utah don't let us to, to build all winter long, so we build cabinets and stuff during the winter time, mm -hmm. and then put everything together in the spring and try it out in the summer when we go camping. This is where our fridge is in here. We have a, a Snowmaster, which is a nice fridge, so we fit lots of stuff in there. Down below, this is you can bring your stove in from the outside, or we have a drop-down table outside so the stove can go that way. Smart. Um, all your pots and pans down here, and your dry goods in here. Clothing in here. Mm -hmm. Spiritual items, whatever. Um, right now, we're still in the process of building, so our drawers are currently just plastic containers, mm -hmm. um, but we do have running water, yes, we have running water, <laughs> and lighting, but I still have to do walls, I still have to do ceiling, I still have to mm -hmm. do some lighting. I have a compost toilet, which is nice, down okay. there. This was the first box that I actually built by myself. Congratulations! And it was square! Yay! I put the top for it and everything, so. Excellent! And so that keeps on our waist. And how's that working for you? Excellent. It's a, it runs on about um, one amp hour for the fan inside. Okay. So it keeps the smell down. Um, you only have to clean it out with two people using it like every six months because of the, the composting, um, which is really good. And so is it truly composted it once is. you, mm -hmm. once you clean it out? Yeah, and yeah so I you... just barely cleaned it out for the first time in a year. I mean, you couldn't tell anything, but it looked like all dirt in there, just all peat moss. Wow. It's a nature's head, so it has a separation from the liquids to the solids. So you just have to clean the, the liquids out, and, but that's, that's no big deal. So we did the swivel chairs to give it more mm -hmm. room inside. Um, and then I still have doors to put on. And mm -hmm. It's just, it's a work in progress. I have some cabinets still to put up here, and then she'll be done. And nice. Hopefully we'll hit the road by next year, early spring. Maybe if we're lucky by January, and we'll catch the caravan going down to the Baja and then back up to Alaska next year. Sweet. So that would be fun. Nice. And you're using Thinsulate, I see, for yes. your insulation. Thinsulate, and then we love have, working with that stuff. This is this is really nice too. A lot of people don't. This is also a moisture barrier, uh -huh. and it keeps the the radiation heat from the metal because it still heats from the outside the metal mm -hmm. and then it goes it translates to the inside and yes the thinsulate will will do that but it's just one extra barrier to keep the heat from radiating into the, the thinsulate so it's just maybe another 10 degrees cooler or warmer it's a solar reflectant that they put on the inside of roofs great you just put it on with 3m glue it's pretty easy yeah. pretty easy to work with um, but we find in the summertime when we're camping, you can actually touch this and then touch the bare metal. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can do it right now. You can touch that and then touch this. This is cool and this is warm. Nice. And it's just a cool. Very um, cool. Fall days. So she's a queen size, a little bit bigger than a queen size bed. There's two of us. Mm -hmm. And we have um, air shocks underneath so we can, if we're not on a level surface, we can blow up one side or the other. Oh, how smart is that? Or we can blow both of them up so that we can raise it so we can stay a little more level. <sighs> so it's real comfortable. Okay, I've never heard anybody doing that before. Yep. Can you show us what that is? Or do, yeah, do we need to be in the back? The car. It's okay. underneath the car. Well, um, but then we have a, um, just a regular foam and then a memory foam on top of it. So it's like better than any hotel you'll ever spend $150 a night for. <laughs> and that's all you spend $150 a night is to sleep in the bed, right? Mm -hmm. Well, right. there you go. Right. <laughs> so. And you have all your things with you. Everything. Yep. <laughs> yep. Yeah, everything. I mean, right down to you know, all my Buddhist stuff and mm -hmm. prayer flags and yeah. everything's going to be 
just like home. Nice. So, but I figure I got another probably two to three months of work to finish her off. Great. So, Congratulations. Do you have experience building? No. No, this was... Well, yeah, you said this was your first box. Yeah, that was my first yeah. box. I've never... I, I don't know. I didn't know the first thing about solar. I have a 300-watt solar panel on the top, and then all of my inverter and everything down here. I have a 300-amp uh, battery, AMG battery, so it doesn't need to be vented. Mm -hmm. um, so she can charge either solar, or I have an, uh, a converter that takes it from the alternator once the mm -hmm. regular battery is charged up. And then we also have a plug-in, so if we're on a regular campground or at mm -hmm. home or anything like that. But I can be autonomous for four days out in the open with nothing, mm -hmm. so, except solar. Even if we didn't have sun, I could still be out in, in nowhere for four days. Nice. So, yeah, it was a lot of planning. Yeah. A lot of planning. Definitely. So, we are adventure travelers, so we built this so that we could put our bikes in there without disassembling them too far and then uh, we can have our we have a, actually an inflatable kayak in here and all the paddles and gear and everything for that nice um, so we have our toys so we just needed enough room um it's only partly built is that a water pump in the back there yeah my water system's in the back um this is this cabinet here is for our clothes up front uh -huh. so i i did that that way so that i had you know, a flush front, and yet I still had room for the bikes over here and the water system over here. Great. So it's 24 gallons. And then on the roof, we have a solar shower. We open the doors up and we, we put a shower curtain on the back and we just stand outside and, and shower. Nice. <laughs> so now we're seeing the shocks. So they're really easy. So she installed this herself, guys. Yep. I think my batteries are dead. Oh. <laughs> Of course, we're, we're level now because I'm uh -huh. leveled. Because you've leveled, out. yeah. But generally, and I don't know if you'll be able to see them without them. Okay, that's all right. Well, yeah, but I can I can level it side to side. Uh huh. Um, just with the airbags, and then I didn't have to do a lift on the van so that it um, hold all the extra weight that the factory's not. Right. Yeah, so it was a great, it was a great, very low cost addition. I went ahead and installed the the onboard uh, compressor too, which only added I think, about hundred dollars or something to the cost. But I don't have to um, take a compressor and do it individually. Okay. I can do it from inside. As long as my battery is good. Yeah. <laughs> and can we see your table? Oh yeah. yeah. Let's see. Here's the outdoor table. And your stuff comes out. Wow. And what does it run off of? Propane. Okay. So it's just a two burner camp chef. That's so cool. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your interest. Yeah. I want to thank Jonna for sharing her awesome van building process. It takes a lot to let someone film your van when it's not even done yet. I am so impressed that this is the first thing she's ever built. Please hit that thumbs up button below, make sure you're subscribed, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming videos. I also want to thank you for your thoughtful comments and questions, so keep them coming and I'll do my best to respond. This is Joni with the Galavan. Enjoy your journey.